What's up guys, Siren136 here, just going to do a quick overview of the premium format. I want to talk about some of the decks that are doing okay right now, see what you guys think. Uh, so on your screen you're going to see the overview for Unite Sanctuary right now. We have Saint Guard Dragon, uh, this is a Royals deck. This could be any build with Saint Guard. Uh, Crystal Luster is really what makes the deck good. Um, Valkyrian, Genesis... The deck's not as good as it used to be when 16 stand was playable with Taro, but it still works. I actually personally still play this in premium occasionally. Um, the Valkyrian swinging big numbers and then being able to restand even without the drive checks makes a difference. Uh, Battle Sisters, this is an OTT list. Uh, this is a list that actually one of my friends from my locals, uh, Rudy Scar on YouTube, check him out. Um, he built the list that's featured on like Premium Deck Depository. Um, a lot of the Battle Sisters lists that you've seen top recently uh, all come from adjustments to his list or are copies of his exact list. He has an extensive YouTube breakdown of his list on his channel. Uh, Ezel, this can be played as Ezel Aggro or Ezel Midrange. So it's a little playstyle dependent, uh, good for aggroing. Uh, Gavriel, you don't see this too much in Premium. Uh, it occasionally pops up. Right now, it seems like most Angel Feather players are playing other variants. Uh, Gurgit, we've seen a big resurgence in Gurgit lately, where it's actually being played a lot more in Standard and in Premium, or in V and in Premium. Um, strong deck. Luard, always good. Consistently always good. Uh, MOB, another deck that we don't see a ton of in Premium. Um, it has potential. But it's just slower than most decks in premium. Uh, Raging Form, we've seen this a couple of times. Uh, Regalia, currently one of the best decks in the format in premium. Uh, Jewel Knights, and my personal deck that I'm known for, Claret Premium. We're going to move on to the Dragon Empire decks. We've got uh, Daihosen, uh, Ar Eradicators. We've got Hanzo. We've got Overlord. We've got Shiryuki. We've got Spino, and we've got Vanquisher. Um, moving on to Dark States, or Dark Zone. Uh, we have Harry, the NLK Barrow Dark Regulars combo deck. Uh, Nightmare Dolls, and Rising. The Rising deck could be Rising Greedon, or it could be a different Rising build. Uh, we also see a lot of uh, people have been working on Dudley's exclusive stuff. So, uh, let's see here. Megalanica, we've got Highlander, we've got Night Rose, we got Thavos, which just recently seen success at uh, BSF Georgia. Uh, we've got Beatrice. Moving on to Zoo, we have Big Belly and Order Colony. Uh, there's some other decks in Zoo that you may see, like Polaris and some other things, uh, but these are the ones that most commonly come up for Zoo. And then last but not least, we got Stargate with Chaos, Chaos, Dyliner, and Victor. All right, here we're going to be going over the playstyle breakdown terms. Um, this will just give you an idea, so when you see the labels later in the video in the next slides, you'll understand what we're talking about. We have aggro. Uh, aggro fundamentally tries to advance their board position while usually disregarding their opponents. This means that uh, the common terms going face means that more often than not, you're just going to be trying to kill as quickly as possible. All swings to vanguard, trying to stack up as much damage as possible. Uh, we have tempo. Tempo fundamentally tries to advance their board position while trying to diminish their opponent's board position at the same time. So this is, uh, you want to grow your board. You see this in some uh, some Kagero decks where you're trying to retire rear guards while gaining effects on your side of the board to keep the pacing of the game constantly going in your favor. So you're always on that curve. Uh, combo. Combo decks use an interaction of two or more cards, aka a combination, to create a powerful effect that either wins the game immediately or creates a situation that subsequently leads to a win. Uh, you see this in NLK. Uh, that's a combo deck where basically all of your play leads up to one kill turn. Uh, we have Control. They attempt to slow the game down by executing an attrition plan, and the primary strength of Control decks is their ability to devalue their opponent's cards. Um, so they, things like Chaos play like Control and Vanguard. It's not something we see a ton of in Vanguard, um, 
because control is kind of different here from other TCGs. Uh, and then we have hybrid decks. Hybrid decks contain two of the listed styles, such as aggro control, control combo, or aggro combo. Um, in some of these slides, you're going to see that there is decks that could be listed as hybrid, and arguably most people would probably list quite a few of them as hybrid. I try to use the term uh, very scarcely. Um, the ones I did put it on, I tried to put it on things that were mid-range or things like that, uh, which may be a more accurate representation of hybrid. So we're going to move on to the first slide here. This is United Sanctuary. Um, we're looking at Tank Guard Dragon, aggro deck. This is the deck that wants to push face. Uh, Valkyrian, aggro deck. You just want to swing in and kill. Um, Battle Sisters, hybrid. Uh, this deck arguably could go a few different ways. You know, people could say it's tempo, people could say it's aggro, people could say it's combo, you know, like, it depends on who you talk to. Um, I'm not the expert on a lot of these decks. I don't know them uh, super well. Um, we got Ezel. I listed Ezel as hybrid because there is an Ezel build that is mid-range, which is a hybrid build. Um, there's an Ezel build that's aggro. There's Ezel builds that are Ezel Gurgit. You know, there's a there's a million different combinations. Everybody builds those a little bit differently. Uh, Gavriel combo deck. You're trying to combo off to get all of your rescue checks so that you can swing in for lethal. Uh, Gurgit aggro deck. This is another one that's kind of arguable. This could be different. Um, I listed it as aggro because the superior calling, building a board and swinging in. Um, this is also could be hybrid because a lot of people play this defensively and then switch to aggro if they need to so it has a varying play style uh, Luard hybrid uh, it's a toolbox deck so you're going to fetch the pieces you need and then play the deck how it needs to be played in that matchup which may be Morphessa Turbo it may be a, a war of attrition trying to play the long game against somebody to out resource them it just depends uh, MLB hybrid this is another deck that can kind of play a mid-range game depending um it, it also has the power to call to retire your opponent's rear guards if they're playing a lot of rear guards you can play it kind of combo-y because you need to have uh, both your blasters and soul for your mlb effect uh, or use your order so uh raging form aggro self-explanatory the deck goes face uh regalia combo um, this is another one that could be different depending. I put it as combo because the two pieces of Regalia, um, pre-stride is Yggdrasil and Norn, um, and you want them together to create the effect. That's why in other Genesis decks, uh, Fenrir and Fortuna and Himiko, you see people right now still playing Yggdrasil and Norn, uh, pieces in the deck because the combo is too strong. Uh, Jewel Knight's aggro. This one's debatable. I don't know a ton about Jewel Knights, but most people seem to play it as aggro. Could arguably be combo. Uh, and Claret, my personal deck. Claret, definitely aggro. Um, your game plan is to turbo ritual as fast as possible. And premium especially because you're going to kill them for with Morphessa. So you're essentially playing it as turbo Morphessa with Claret's engine being the strongest engine to put all your grade ones into drop and filter your deck. So you'll deck thin and then go for the win. Uh, it also has the ability to, if you can't stride, you have a restanding vanguard through Claret. Uh, if you have to go into chain ranker, you have a restanding vanguard because of Claret. So there, there's a lot of potential here. On to Dragon Empire, we have Dihosen. I put Dihosen as control. Um, I think Dihosen. Hanzo, Chaos, things like that, I think are the best examples of control decks in Vanguard. Uh, other people may have a different opinion, but typically Dihosen is played similarly to how control decks would be played in other games. So, something to think about. Other people may have a different opinion. They may like it as a mid-range deck or something else. This is just my personal opinion. Uh, Eradicators, Tempo. It, Eradicators, I feel like, gives a good definition of tempo you know you are increasing your advantage while decreasing your opponent's advantage uh, you're pushing your board state that's really good right now um, it may go down a little bit depending it's somewhere between tier one and tier two right now uh, Hanzo control um, 
I don't know if I, I put it as control and I'm not sure if it's the best label for Hanzo. Um, you see a lot of people playing Hanzo to play Protect 2 uh, decoy tokens. So they have these giant decoy token interceptors, um, things like that, which makes it have more of a control feel, but maybe not. Who knows? Uh, we have Overlord, another deck that I'm putting in tempo, uh, self explanatory. Taking out rear guards, you got a restanding vanguard, could be listed as aggro, maybe hybrid. Uh, Shiryuki, the most common version is the Shiryuki beatdown deck, uh, which is a reduce their power swing face kind of deck. Uh, Spino, definitely an aggro deck. I'm pretty sure if you see any Tachikaze deck, you know it's an aggro deck. They don't, they don't do anything else. You know, aggro is what they do well, and that's what they lean into. And right now we see a lot of uh, Spino Raptor and V Premium. And in premium, we see Spino, uh, you see some Gaia decks, you see some Raptor Spino. So there's some interesting things going on with it. You know, they're, they're aggro, but you have to know how the clan works to do well with it. Uh, it's not as easy as when a Sweeper was the most popular card and people were just like stack Sweepers, swing for a bunch, stand them back up, swing for a bunch. Uh, Vanquisher Tempo feels like a Tempo deck to me, so that's what I listed it as. Uh, Dark Zone, we got Harry. Uh, I don't know this deck very well. I playtest against it a lot. Um, a friend of mine, Vincent, pilots it. Uh, and another friend of mine, Ryan, also plays Harry. So there's a lot of Pale Moon uh, in my local scene. Um, I've never played it. I just, Pale Moon's just not it. I love the art and the aesthetic, not my personal uh, play style. Um, so I have it listed as aggro. I, I consulted with him, with uh, Vincent about it, and he said that he felt like. It could be aggro, it could be combo, somewhere in there, so that's what I put it as. Uh, NLK Barrow, combo deck, self-explanatory, I talked about this when I was explaining combos. Um, the deck is centered around the play of stacking your soul, getting a barrow into soul, riding NLK, using NLK's skill to swing and then rewrite into barrow. Barrow skill enables multi-tack, you're trying to go for game off of that combo, that's what the deck does. Nightmare Dolls. A very popular combo deck. Uh, you see Nightmare Dolls everywhere. That's a deck that's tier one. Uh, it has been for a long time. Uh, and then we have Rising, Aggro, Spike Brothers. Pretty much every build Spike has. Same with Tachikaze. It's Aggro. You know, you have to memorize a whole playbook to do your combos, but they're good Aggro decks. Uh, moving on to Megalanica, we've got Highlander, Aggro. Um, I don't play this deck. We only have like one, maybe two people in our local scene that play Bermuda, uh, the clan. Uh, I've played against it on occasion at bigger tournaments. Uh, seems like it's always aggro. So, uh, Night Rose hybrid deck. Grand Blue has a good example of mid range uh, recursion type of deck style, like a reanimator dredged kind of mechanics. Uh, so, I've listed them as hybrid. Uh, you have Thavos, Aggro, Aquaforce, well known for being an aggro clan, uh, comboing the the right cards. So it could be either or. Um, I listed it as aggro. We just had a guy um, at BSF Georgia who topped with Thavos um, from our friend group. Uh, we also have Beatrice at the end here, listed as hybrid. Same thing as Night Rose. Um, they're good examples of mid-range decks. Uh, moving on to Zoo, we've got Big Belly. I've listed his combo. I have only know two people that play Great Nature, uh, but it always comes across as a combo deck to me, and that's the way I've seen it explained. So that's what I've listed it as. Uh, and then we have Order Colony, which is a Tier 1 deck right now in the format and premium. Um, I listed it as Control. That's what most people describe it as. I guess arguably it could be hybrid. Most people feel like it's control because Gradora is control and they're generating a lot of advantage playing that attrition game. So I've put it under control. Uh, going on to Stargate, we have Chaos, uh, one of the famous examples of a control deck in Vanguard. We have Dyliner, which I've listed as a hybrid deck. Depending on how you build it, it's kind of how the playstyle goes. And we have Victor, which is a aggro Nova Grapplers deck. Uh, swing face, try to kill people. Arguably could be um, combo, maybe a hybrid deck as well. Like I said, I tried to use the term hybrid uh, 
sparingly in the list. I tried to not put it a bunch. Uh, some of these I probably wouldn't have even put a hybrid tag on, but I wanted to have it at least a few times. So anybody can feel free to comment and say how you think the decks go. Maybe if you main the clan uh, or one of these particular decks in premium, then you can let me know what you think your your deck would be classified as. Uh, I just wanted to have this as a resource for new players or people who are new to premium format so that they can see some of the decks and how strong they are and what the play style is and maybe help people understand the game a little bit better. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Thank you.